Hello there. Uh, I have gotten some questions from some of you about um, getting materials ready for the Fresh Paint Tribe. You guys are like on it. You're so excited to get started and I love that. Um, so I thought I would give you um, some of the supplies that I would recommend maybe you want to order now or stock up on um, if you're really eager and excited to get started. Uh, so first thing, if you are new to my teaching, you might not know this, but I use Golden Fluid Acrylics. Uh, they come in bottles like this. Um, I buy the great big bottles because you guys, I use a ton of paint, but you do not need to buy the big bottles like this. Um, so they offer one ounce size bottles. They offer four ounce sizes. Um, so you can get what works for you. Uh, if you would like my list of the paints that I regularly use, you can find that on my website. It's just on the first page of my website. It'll say like, get my guide to the paints that I use. Uh, in the guide, it tells you like how much of each color I recommend because some colors you're going to use more than others. So check that out. One other thing you can get is some glazing medium. Um, I usually use Liquitex matte medium, but any brand works. I am not picky about that. So you may want to pick some of this up. And then surfaces. So I really like to paint on wood. I know a lot of you guys do too, but we also have a lot of new people jumping in. So I always like to tell you, I buy these panels. Actually, this one I had made uh, by a carpenter friend of mine, but it's just like a smooth um, birch panel. Sometimes he makes them with masonite board on the front. You can order these pre-made from places like Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama. Um, so for small stuff, that's what I do. If it's maybe like 11 by 14 or bigger, I do that. Uh, a cool thing about the Fresh Paint Tribe demos is you will be able to work any size. Really exciting. So I'm going to have download templates for each of the samples that I teach in the class and you can decide how big you want to print it out. Um, so I would recommend getting some eight by 10 panels. Those are great for some of our small and simple demos, but then you might also want to work big. And I have a little tip for you for that. So you don't have to spend a ton of money on surfaces working big. Um, go to Home Depot or Lowe's or a store like that and they sell four foot by eight foot sheets of masonite board or they might call it hardboard. Um, I recommend getting either the one eighth inch thick or three sixteenths and they will cut it down for you on their big panel saw in the store. So you can have that cut down. Let's say maybe you want to work 16 by 20 or maybe you want to do some that are 30 by 30. You can have them slice that up for you right there in the store. And a four foot by eight foot sheet, it's been a while since I bought one, but I think it's about $15. So you can get each panel for like a dollar or so. It's a great way to work big on a nice surface and save some money. One thing I didn't mention is you're going to want to gesso all of these. I should have grabbed some gesso to show you, but any acrylic gesso works. I get mine from Hobby Lobby when I get it, like when it's on sale. So just wanted to let you know, those are some things that you can get now if you don't already have them to get started. One more thing, I shared this the other day, but I'm gonna show it to you guys again. This is my tripod that my iPad fits into. So I paint from a screen, you are going to want to paint from a screen. And this is like a stand-up one, so it goes all the way down to the floor. It's got like this at the bottom, but it also works on a tabletop. And I got this on Amazon for $23, $24. So really good deal. I'm going to send you the link again for that in case you didn't see it. Uh, but yeah, those are some things you can do to get started. I cannot wait to launch the Fresh Paint Tribe. January 31st. Stay tuned for more details. Bye guys.